you want to tell me what happened with your warehouse? So in one week from the start of this war, uh, our warehouse near the Kiev, uh, like 30 kilometers from Kiev, uh, was uh, bombed from a uh, uh, Russian uh, plane uh, with uh, rockets and uh, totally destroyed and uh, burned. Uh, we lost more than uh, 15 million euro and uh, the capacity of this warehouse was uh, like uh, what, what, what according to our warehouse is like 10,000 uh, pallets of wine, three, three, 340 full trucks of wine. So you said, yeah, you told me almost two million bottles. Two million bottles, yes. It's yeah. a huge amount and uh, Big part of this uh, warehouse was uh, prepaid from other company because we we prefer to to prepay all shipments to have better price. Because our philosophy of other company is like to to keep uh, on the shelves in our supermarkets the same price like in the uh, country of origin. This is why we prepare every time. But now we we are in very very. Turbulence, financial decisions. Yeah, and you are you are now here in Vinitaly. Why? Yeah, so we are. We, we came we came to Vinitaly uh, with uh, only four person, uh, but previous previous Vinitaly, our team was like 20 city members because it's forbidden to cross the board uh, for guys, for men. Yeah, uh, except you have. Uh, Three, at least three kids. So my family, my family is, uh, is uh, four children. So Valentin, my colleague, three children. So it's allowed to cross the board, and uh, we are happy to visit in Italy and to meet with our suppliers. So we have more than uh, 300 different contracts around the world, and uh, number one, number one country in our, in our portfolio is Italy. And we want to say. Our partners that we are alive, and we want to continue this business. We want to continue this relation with the uh, Italian producers, and uh, we are sure that we will win this war, and everything will be okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.